Hello, in this video, we're going to go over the Sierra chart simulated futures trading service and show the trade account monitor and how you can create trade accounts and adjust the margins and set up limits for trading. The first thing is I'm connected to trading evaluator. So you go over to global settings, data trade service settings and um, change your trading service to trading evaluator or trading evaluator delayed. In the case of the trading evaluator, which is the simulated futures trading service, you will be able to add your own new accounts and configure all of the margins. For a live trading account like Teton CME order routing, you'll still be able to see the limits for your account. You just will not be able to commit any of the changes. For this example, I'm connected to trading evaluator. Okay, so I'm gonna go up to trade, trade account monitor, and I'm going to create a new trade account. You can see we already have two accounts here. These are simulated trading accounts. So I'll go up to manage and then I'll select new trade account and we need to give it a name. Um, just remember you cannot use white space characters. So you can't do like uh, account one. It's going to give you an error like this. Trade account contains non alphanumeric characters. I'll just give it a name. I'll say video one and I'll click OK. All right. So here's our new account. And uh, this menu right here, this settings window is where we're going to be able to configure all the um, info and margins about this particular trading account. Um, I'm going to commit it for now. So I'll just select commit. And it says trade account currency code is not set. So we need to tell it which currency the account is going to be using. So if you're trading uh, Eurex, you might select euros. If you're trading CME group products, then you'll select USD. Okay, let's commit. Commit is successful. Now, if we close this window, you'll see that the new account has appeared here. And it has an account balance of zero. Now you can add funds to this account pretty easily. So I'll select the account by clicking on it first, making sure it's highlighted. And then I will go up to balance and you can adjust the account balance. So I'll click there. So let's put a positive number there. So I'll just write 2000 and we'll just say, okay. All right. So now let's go ahead and uh, adjust some of the margins for this trade account. Now there might be default settings in place, but if you want to configure day trade margins and things like that, you're going to have to do it. So let's show how to do that. It's not very hard. So I selected the trade account here, then go up to manage edit trade account. And if you go, if you scroll down to margin settings, now the first important setting here is use percent of required margin by default. This is hundred, meaning it's the full exchange margin all the time. If you have a live trading account, you might see this number is a little bit lower like 10% or 20%. So if you want to use a lower margin than the exchange margin, you can just lower this to a, a lower amount, like 50 or 20 or something. If you go under symbol slash product limits, we get all symbols. You can configure margins and trade positions and order quantity limits here for individual symbols if you wanted to. So if I go down to add new symbol limits, uh, here we get all the symbols. Let's find a, a symbol we want to add. Let's say it's Yes, I will add it. Now we can configure trade position limits, order quantity limits, and uh, margin limits as well. So let's say the trade position limit was three, and the order quantity limit was six, just to be safe. And um, you can set up the margin right here. So use percent of required margin, you could say 50% of the exchange margin. Now these next two settings for use percent of required margin for day trading, and for overnight trading. Um, by default, they're not used, but they could be used if you set up the uh, session start times correctly, um, but it's not really necessary for now. You can also set a fixed margin cash value for this particular symbol. So let's say you set something here, 500. Um, you have to remember to set the percentage to back to zero or else it wouldn't work. Now it's not necessary to configure product limits for each product because everything is already set here in all symbols. So one thing you could do is you can just go to main and set the use percent of required margin right here. And just as an example, I'm going to set it to 10 and commit that. And now what I'll do is I'll go over to the margin tab and then I will find the symbol or I'll type in the symbol. And then I'll select request margin data. First, it shows you the exchange margin and then following that the margin for your account. So in this case, it's using that $500 account margin that I set up. So I can actually go remove that um, by just getting rid of it here. 
and then committing it. You could also delete this if you want. You can just select remove and then it removed the ES symbol from, from that list and then commit it. Um, I'll go back to the margin tab. I'll request the margin data. And now it's using what I put in the main tab, which was 10% of the exchange margin. I'll just type in another symbol just to show you. So let's say it was a RTY. Okay, so you actually have to type in the full symbol. So let's do RTY U23. All right, so there it is, full exchange margin, and then our account margin. Let's show how this applies to trading. So I'm actually going to set up a, a trade order for this account now. So for my chart right here, I'm going to select my new trade account here under the account selection in the trade window. If you don't have the trade window active, you go up to trade, open trade window for chart or attach trade window to chart. Okay, so I'll select video one as the account. And now I'll just go ahead and put in a, a limit buy order here. So I have a new order there. So now I'm going to go back into the trade account monitor. And you can see there's our margin requirement being displayed right there next to our account value. And you can see that it is using that 10% margin that we set up rather than the full exchange margin. If we went back in here to our edit trade account settings, and we went uh, over to our main tab and we increased the margin back to 100 and committed it. Now our order is still here because we submitted this order when our account was set to have lower margins. But if we go ahead and submit a new order, we actually get an error in the trade service log saying insufficient account value for margin order. And it tells you the margin you need for the symbol, which is the full exchange margin in this case, 100% of exchange margin, etc. Okay, that covers this short demonstration of the trade account monitor and configuring margins for simulated futures trading accounts. Thank you very much for watching.